Hey everybody and welcome again and welcome back to Peace Class and this is week four of doing our classes together online. Now I know you're super excited for academic English for Peace Class today so I'm just really really happy to say hi to everybody. Um, you did a great job last week so that's what we all care about. Now I'm gonna go through today's class and as you can see over here Hello Kitty is enjoying her drive. She's driving carefully and that's what we like to see. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about Unit 4. We're going to talk about the writing book, which is in a separate video. But the idea is today's class, we're going to concentrate on top notch. Unit 4 and then the writing book is something you have to do separately. So there's another YouTube video for that one to watch. So today is all about driving a car. And I know that all of you are super excited. So let's get on with it. Now, I have to be careful because you have to listen to the video carefully. After this class, I'm going to give you a quiz on what you've watched today. So today, you don't have to submit your worksheet. You just have to listen carefully and get ready to answer some quiz questions. Oh. So above me, hers is like andro because she's not listening. You need to listen carefully because I'm going to ask you a couple of questions because it's your attendance. If you don't do the quiz in time, absent or late. Now, what I want you to do is just take notes. Write down your answers on your worksheet. Do the book pages that we have to do because they're the things that are important for this class. Now, just don't stress. I'll talk slower. I'll make sure that you can hear me, make sure you can understand me and just try to listen and maybe sometimes I'll give a hint about something that might be on the test. So if I'm like, oh, <clears throat> what was on Fraser's hoodie t-shirt like and it'd be like, oh, what flag was there? Then you'll know the answer. Maybe you don't know that flag. Doesn't matter. You know, it's it'll be easy to guess from the answers. So listen carefully, write in your worksheet, and then after class, I'm going to give you a short quiz. It's for attendance, so don't worry about your score. But if you get zero and everything is wrong, then I know you didn't listen to the video. Now you can listen to the video many times. You can write your answers before class. And then as soon as the class time is over, there'll be a window to take the test. So do it early, be prepared, we're going to be perfect, okay? So I'll mention the class times and I'll mention the times for the test in the announcement on eClass. So listen carefully, don't listen to your headphones and just like na, 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 or just try and do something. Just follow through, we'll be perfect. So today's class might be a little bit shorter because uh, some of the activities are for next week's class. And as I said, Today we're going to do just a couple of things in this class. We're going to do Unit 4, which is all about driving your car. That's, oh, is that a, is that a dance? I think Fraser's dancing. No, no dancing. I'm driving, okay? Um, we're going to do some simple grammar from Unit 3. So I've skipped Unit 3, but I've used the grammar because we'll need it for the midterm. And it's very simple, super easy. The next one, the main focus is Unit 4 and driving. At the end of the class, I'll explain about week Five's class. Week five is when we have face-to-face -face class and I'm super excited to actually have a face-to-face -face class. So I'm really excited and it's going to happen next week. So let's go through. Today's class, page 38. So take out your wonderful top notch. You'll be like, oh, which page? 38. Super easy. And as you can see, there's a page with pictures of driving. And on there, there is bad habits, like bad things that people do. So if you have a bad habit, maybe it's smoking. So if you smoke, then people say it's a bad habit. Maybe you say many bad words. It's a bad habit. So when you're driving, we have bad habits too. So I'm going to go through the first one. So go one by picture by picture and check how often does it happen in your city? So you'll be like, okay, in Bundang, how often? And you have four choices. Never, some of the time, most of the time, 
all of the time. So just make sure you check the right one. So I'm going to move me over here, bam, and then I'm going to go through each one. So remember, number one, you speed. So you go too fast. All right, speeding too fast. Um, Fraser never speeds. Perfect driver. Next one, tailgate means to drive too close to another car. So if you're tailgating, you're like right there and he's like really close behind the other car and you're like like always behind each other. So as you see in the picture, it means to be too close to the other car. The next one, talk on the phone. It's easy, right? So driving and talking, many people do that. Text while driving, maybe they cacao talk or using their smartphone. I think maybe using their smartphone is better than this. This book is a little old. So say use their smartphone, maybe when they're on there, so they're using their phone. Next one, they weave through traffic. Now, the idea is weaving through traffic is a very easy one to know. It's like this here. You can see Brian is driving. This is Brian the dog. And he's like whoosh, 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 in and out, in and out. So to weave through traffic means weaving to go back and forth very quickly. So you can see there's many kinds of examples of bad, you know, driving when it go back and forth. The next one, don't stop at a red light. Next one, don't signal or indicate when turning. That means to show which direction you're going. So when you're driving and then you go, and then go, and you hear that little tick, tick, tick sound, that orange light on your car or red light goes on and on and flashes on to show which way you're going. Show your direction change. Now, in America, they say signal. In England and other countries, they say indicate. Indicate means to show something. So that's why we say indicate, Americans say signal. And the next one, pass in a no passing zone. So super easy, you know, there's a sign and it says like two cars and it's like, no, it means don't pass here. Like it's dangerous. Maybe it's a corner. So it's dangerous to pass there. So don't pass there. Now, what I want you to do is just pause me in a second and just check on your list. How often does this happen in your whole town? So it'll only take a, like, 20 seconds, think about each one and do it. So pause me now. You've checked it, it's easy. You've gone through the text world, just check it like that. So you've checked your box, you've checked them all and you're gonna do speaking next week's class. So the idea is next week's class, you'll talk about these problems with your partners, okay? What you're going to do now is just try to write down some examples of when it happens. So in your textbook or on your worksheet, it doesn't matter. Just write down an example. So maybe speeding. You can say, oh, Fraser speeds when he drives. Or maybe you can say tailgate. Oh, my father tailgates. He's very impatient, like hurry, hurry. So try to think about when these happen. Like, did it happen to you? Like when it happened? Uh, you could say like, Taxi driver doesn't stop at the red light or a taxi driver is weaving. Remember, weave, 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 weave. Look, no, that's dancing, weaving, weaving in and out. So when you go through it, it's super easy. Just check the box and write down an example. And then on your worksheet, I've actually put down the questions that are here. And it says here, what do you think about Korean drivers in general? What about your family members or you? So you'd be like, I think Korean drivers are bad, blah, blah, blah. Give an example or family members. Who is the worst driver you know? Why? No, not me, somebody else. And the last one, how can we make Korea's roads safer? Try to think of a way, like reduce, lower the speed limit. Or maybe you think about uh, more fine or more police officer, more police checks on the road to make it safer. Just try to think of a way to make it safer. Now. I want you to do this with your partner, right? I always say partner, but we don't have a partner. We're all solo, like Fraser in YouTube. Fraser is solo as well. It's sad. <laughs> sad Fraser, no friends. I guess I'm Asa. Ingu. Okay, but don't be sad. 
just write down your answers on your worksheet and you can see here I put the discussion questions at the top of your worksheet so you just have to write down some short answers for each one like what's your opinion uh, who's the worst driver you know why how can we make careers right they're all there just write down an answer or type an answer now this week you're not sending me that but next week I will check in class time so you have to write an answer and be ready to bring this next week so don't worry just write down the discussion questions on there I go to next one pause beep now next one you can write your answers on there what we're gonna do is the grammar now today's grammar that is a little difficult from this unit is here on page 40 now on page 40 there is a picture of a car don't worry about the car it's not you know mechanic test like what's the name of this part of the car so don't worry about the car parts but what I want you to do is I want you to look at the grammar the grammar is called the past continuous so from the title we know it's in the past and it was continuous continuing happening so we know it's in the past we know it's continuous what's happening so in this case we always have to remember to make the past continuous was or were and then the present participle so this is using verb with ing so it's very simple to make so present participle verb ing like eating driving like this so when we make a sentence we need to have for example the subject of the sentence and in this example I've made it the car because we're driving right we need a car so the car was making a funny sound while they were driving so this sentence is very easy to understand this is past continuous something was happening continuous event in the past so in this case the car was making a funny sound so in the past the car was making a strange noise and then here it says while while means two things is happening together so in this case while they were driving so there's two people three people four people they were driving so were driving happening in the past for a long time strange sound happening together the same time so in English if you can see this while it means two things are happening so this tense and this tense it's the same we don't change it now sometimes you know there's always exception but for our textbook for my test for everything follow that rule so if this is was making ing this one follows the same so in this case were because they and ing so don't change it so the car was making a funny sound while they were driving both is happening in the past at the same time now it's very easy to figure out so I'll give an example like question form with an answer were the headlights working yes they were no they weren't who was driving your car at 10 o'clock last night I was driving your car last night these are all examples of the past continuous in today's class we're gonna use the simple past so that's why they're giving examples in here the simple past is just you know B plus the present participle and this will be explained soon okay so it's easy don't worry now these examples were the headlights working uh, the next one who was driving means was happening for some time so here's the example we're gonna use the simple past tense describes a completed action in the past in the textbook they use when to show this has happened so the idea is we use this simple past simple past is here to show something has happened 
So in this case, it was raining. This is the past continuous. So it was happening in the past for a long time. Continuous action, raining. When she had the accident. When shows that we need to change the verb tense. And in this textbook, in these cases, we're only using the simple past tense, have. So have becomes have. So it was raining when she had the accident. So here's the past, started driving. Ring, she's driving, bang. Now she's had the accident and now we're talking about it here. So she had the accident. And we're here, we're talking about what happened. So, it was raining when she had the accident. Okay, so when you see when, we know to change to the simple past. So whatever is here or whatever is here, we know to change them because we've got when. See, from past continuous to the simple past. I was studying hard when my mum called me. So I was studying her. You were studying hard, right? Huh? I was studying hard when my mum called me. So she called me and talked to me, finished. The event finished. So that's why we say like this. When we see when, we change the second part into simple past. Super easy, right? Yeah? I hope so. I think we're all going to be good at this. Um, follow this rule for this class and for the midterm test. Uh, sometimes it is different, but for this textbook and for everything else in this class, we're following that rule only. So don't worry and it'll be all a-okay. In the textbook, you can see there, I want you to try to fill in the blanks. Now, they give you the verb. All you have to do is choose past continuous or the simple past. So you're going to say was or were something, ing, or you're just going to put the simple past into the blank. Remember, hint, when. As soon as it says when, the verb has to change in the next part, in the next blank. So think about it and then you will be able to talk about it. Now remember, when we, when we say about things in English, usually we start a story from now and we talk about the event that happened. After that, then you talk about things that were happening like this. So when you go through page 41, just try to do the grammar now. It's, he's got a sad, sad face and he's you, you on here, but just try to write it down. It's easy to do. So think about it and just write down which one you think is the right answer for each one. So remember, at the start of a story, we always use the simple past because we talk about something that happened. But then after that, you want to think carefully. Was it happening? Dun, dun, dun. And then when you see when, you want to change it to the simple past. So pause me now. And let's go through the answer. So number one, it's the start. We're telling a story. So at the start of the story, we use the simple past, right? So we're at the start of the story. We're saying what's happened. Then we can start to use the past continuous because at the beginning, you're explaining what happened. So I had an accident yesterday. Now, remember, they gave a time so we know, like, it happened yesterday. Easy. I. So if you look at the sentence, it also says, I am sure. So you can see we're going to do something with the past continuous in that sentence. So it says, and I am. So I am sure. So I am. I was doing something at that time. So first, I was driving. And I'm sure I was paying attention because it says and. So it's continuous, no change in the verb tense, same. But I was waiting for a phone call. He's still doing things. Next of all, it says when. 
So we know when change the tense. So when the phone rang, I answered. Um, suddenly the car in front of me stopped. We're still, we haven't changed. We're still there. Uh, and I hit it. Hit is hit. So it's okay. I certainly learned or learnt my lesson. So some people might say learnt, some people might say learned. Depends on which country you're from, okay? Um, luckily, I da da da, when I da da da, the accident. So you can see number 10 and number 11 has when in the middle. So we know after when has to be the simple past. In front of it is the opposite. So simple past is here, opposite needs to be the past continuous. So I wasn't speeding when I had the accident. Hopefully you were perfect. Hopefully you followed it through logically and you didn't get any mistakes. Hopefully. If sometimes you make an error, no problem. I understand it can always happen. So no problem. Let's go on to the next part. If you have a question, always text me, email me, I'll try to help you. Some students have been texting and some people have been emailing and asking questions, no problem. Now, next week's activity, we're gonna play a game. And that's the other part of your worksheet that's the big one. Um, I'll explain this next week. So don't worry about that side of the worksheet. So on your worksheet, you can see this here. Don't worry about it bring it to class next week. We're going to play a game as well next week and I will explain how to play this game. So don't worry about this next week. Now, in chapter three, they use will and won't for talking about the future. So on your worksheet, I've just used some simple questions saying, will you or won't you do something? And you just have to write down your answers. and. Next week's class, when we have our friends together and we're all talking, we can ask these questions. So for now, just write down your answers. Next week's class, when we come, I'm excited, next week when we have class, you'll be able to meet your friends and ask them some questions like, what will you do, what won't you do? Using will means a positive action will happen. So I will eat tteokbokki today. But I ate tteokbokki or yesterday. I had yopki tteokbokki level for yesterday. Next one, I won't, and then the verb, for your negative. So, I won't eat yopki dopuki today because I had it yesterday. So, you can see here, will verb, so saying what you're going to do, and one verb saying a negative, like it's not going to happen. So, on your worksheet, just simply write down a couple of sentences on here. Remember, you're going to say will and won't. It's super easy. This grammar is from elementary school. So it should only take you a second. But remember, full sentence. What will you do tonight? And then you just do like, game. No way. Don't do that. I'll, I'll cry. And then it's not much English practice. So make a full sentence. What will you do tonight? I will play games tonight. It's a little bit doesn't maybe you're like oh Fraser I know but it's just practice and I made my classes super easy no homework no extra things so just try to fill in the blank so write in here and then you can do it nothing is difficult on this list you know like uh, what will your grade be for Fraser's class hmm? Hmm? maybe a plus like this but you'll say I will get an A plus like that. I will. You're positive. It's going to happen 100%. Uh, when will you have midterms in Hoofs? I will have midterms and then give the date. When will you go home? Uh, when will you learn to drive? Maybe you can already drive. So you'll say, I can. Like, I already know. That's a different answer. What will you learn in your major class? So I will learn how to speak Spanish. Uh, who will be the number one singer in Korea this year? Park Yoshin. No, no, eyes one, no, no, give me, give me some names. What movie will you see before the semester ends? Write down anything, I will see, blah, blah, blah. Negative, what won't you do this weekend? I won't play with my friends. Outsiders, 
<laughs> no, it's okay. I'm okay. Uh, what won't you do in phrases class? Uh, I won't play on my smartphone. I won't sleep. I won't like this kind of thing. Uh, where won't you go this summer? Uh, maybe anywhere. <laughs> Let's hope that everything's okay by summertime. What food won't you eat today? So say something you won't eat. What music won't you listen to? What genre you don't like? What movie genre won't you watch? Horror movie. I'm too scared. Like, oh, help me. Oh. Next on, what won't be number one in the melon chart? Like, what's going to be like a very, you know, song that won't be there? Like any kind of thing that you think. And the next one, will you or won't you go to Hoofs on April 13th? This is the question. Will we go to Hoofs and have class? Or won't we go to Hoofs and we'll still be doing online class? Fingers crossed, this gesture means I hope that we are going to be okay and we will have class together and then next week we're going to have fun and we're going to talk together and it's going to be great. So, pause me here. And now you're finished and we're going to take a break and look over, no, over there, yeah. Peng Su's super happy, it's time for break time. He's dancing like Fraser, oh yeah, yeah. So take a break, take like five minutes, uh, go get a drink, and then we're gonna get back to the next part. All right, everybody, now we're back after our break. Now last week I gave you two pictures to draw. Some of you did it well, some of you didn't do it because you didn't watch the video or didn't listen carefully, or maybe you made a mistake, but I'm not angry. You all tried your best. So let's have a look at the first picture. The first picture was Zootopia. Uh, most of you got it right. Uh, maybe I didn't describe that the rabbit was on the left and the fox was on the right, but it doesn't matter. Most of you did a great job. Uh, the next one uh, was Parasite. So um, this isn't the real movie poster, but I stole one, you know, like that I found on the internet and just kind of put it together because I didn't want to make it too easy. But most of you got it right and most of you did a great job. So that's one, yeah. You all did a great job last week. Now, what we're going to do is the next part of today's class. So turn your pages. We're skipping the easy parts to go straight to this part on here. So on here, page 44, there are pictures of different kinds of cars. So there's different cars on here. And I just want you to not discuss with your partner. I just want you to write them down. But before you do, I want you to understand each kind of car so first of all there's a very simple kind of car a full-size sedan this is like a family car so if you have a family car you'd say a sedan or a full-size sedan the next one we have compact car so compact small car so a smaller car is a compact car number three is convertible Convertible means the roof goes down. Open roof. That is a convertible car. The next one is sports car. So you know it's very nice, like, you know, maybe Ferrari, Lamborghini. Sports car, like this. So, you know, a sports car goes fast. The next one is a car that's very common in America and the UK and Europe. Everywhere, but not so popular in Korea. So that one is called a station wagon. So a station wagon is like a big family car because your dog can go in the back. Lots of shopping can go in the back. So at the back is the trunk or the boot. But in this car, it's like a square shaped and you can open it up. Your dog can go in. And we all have these kind of cars in you know Europe and America. It's very popular. The next one is a minivan. In Korea, Hogwarts buses are minivans or a van. You know, you can't get many people. In the UK, it's used for worker, like plumber or electrician. It's a van. Number seven is the one that's most common in Korea. That one is an SUV. So you can see those, you know, bigger style can go other places. And then the last one, it's a luxury car. A luxury car is very expensive car, maybe Bentley. Um, but or Rolls Royce UK brand uh, maybe you might even think like a Land Rover so some of them are like expensive and that would be a luxury car but that's like the most expensive the nicest cars maybe Maybach uh, like this there's many kinds of cars that are luxury cars I have sedan 
for one person. It's a family car, but I use it and I can always put my shopping in there and it's got lots of space. But the idea is you need to know those cars. All I want you to do is, that's right, write down your answers for these questions. I've put these questions on your worksheet. You just have to write down the brand of the car if you know it, or you have to write down the kind of car from the textbook. So you have eight choices. You need to just write it down. So what kind of car does your family own? And then you can write down and practice the speaking like SUV, or you could say Mercedes like that. In Korea, you always say Benz. Foreigner doesn't say Benz. They always say Mercedes. They might say Mercedes Benz. They may say AMG, but they will always say Mercedes, never Benz or Mercedes. Uh, what kind of car does your family own? Write it down. What kind of car do you wish you could buy? If you had lots of money, what do you wish you could buy? What kind of car color do you think is the best and why? No car name brand like this. You can say color, which one you think is good for a car. Can you drive a car? Do you want to learn? Easy questions answer. Maybe already you can, so you can write that down. When did you learn that skill? Like when did you get your driver's license? Do you like going on driving trips? Not you driving, but maybe with your family. Your father drives, you are just in this car for the driving. So do you like driving trips, yes or no? Do you think Korea's roads are safe? We talked about that at the beginning. The next one, who do you know who honks their horn while driving? So Korean people sometimes say klaxon. We say horn, honk, like honk, honk. So it was an old time ago, cars made that sound. Honk, honk, like that. So we sometimes say honk your horn. Uh, some people say beep, because the sound modern car sound is beep, beep. So we say beep your horn. So you beep your horn, beep, beep, honk your horn, beep, beep, like that. So who do you know? Maybe father, razor, somebody who makes that noise. All right, and the final question, do you ever stare at people? So you can see over there, she's staring at you, it's like <clears throat> angry, doesn't say anything, just stare. In English, we might say like, kill you with her eyes or like killer stare. You know, you're like really angry, so you're just staring at people like, why? So that's the easier one. So do you ever stare at people, yes or no? Do you stare at people when you are angry, yes or no? What do you do if not? So the first question, do you ever stare at people? Maybe yes, and you can say when. So you'd be like, yes, when I love somebody. Maybe you're like, ah, yeppo. Or you're like, oh, 잘생겼어. Something like that. Maybe you're like, oh, I love him, or oh, I love her. And you're just staring at them because you're like, they're so beautiful or so handsome. Or maybe you stare at a car because it's so beautiful. Maybe you stare at many things because it's pretty or wonderful. So write down what you stare at or people or who, like, you know, give example. Do you stare at people when you're angry? Yes or no? And then how long do you stare? Is it like one minute, like super angry or does it depend, you know? And then if you don't stare at people, like killing them with your eyes, what do you do? So usually what do you do, right? Then maybe you're like, you know, you like get angry, you like say something bad or maybe you lose your temper. Or maybe you're super relaxed, super calm. Everything is okay, just take it easy. So what do you do? So on your worksheet, you will just write down your answers for some of the questions about cars and then write down your answers in general about the answers to you know the questions that are on there. So don't be shy, just do your best. So pause me now. Wha-bam! We're back and here we go. We're on to the final part. The final part is a little bit of a reading activity and writing the answers down. So first of all, page 46, I'm gonna go through some bad and good things that drivers do. So first of all, as I told you, bad or aggressive, like fighting, like not fighting, but fighting. 
So bad or aggressive drivers, they honk their horns, remember? Two, they stare at people. Number three, they give a gesture. So in the textbook, he's like, mm. uh, there's a very popular gesture that people give that is a finger gesture. <laughs> One of these fingers is the gesture that many people give when they're driving. Uh, another one that they do is flash their light. So they're like, psh, psh, press it quick, and the light is like, whew, whew, and you're like, ah. Oh. So, you know, like that kind of thing. They flash their light. Uh, another one is they shout at people. So they shout like that. So those are bad things. The next one that they do is pay attention. That's a good driver. So these are all good. Pay attention. Like, like you know, pay attention. The next one, observe the speed limit. That means they don't go over the limit. Number is 60. They are 60. Next one is maintain a safe following distance. So if you remember at the beginning of class, we said tailgate. So close. Tailgating. Maintaining a safe distance means always giving a gap. My car is here. The other car is here. This is 200 meter or 100 meters. Now, in English, we always say, uh, follow the two second rule. Um, and the idea is if one car is in front of you, then you go one, two, then it's me. So the idea is you can keep far enough away to keep, make sure you don't have an accident. Now, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to do the reading. And when you go through the reading, they're going to talk about six things. Slowing down, the three-second rule. I said two. Bad driver. It's the three-second rule. <laughs> Next on, pay attention to your surroundings. So looking around. Next on, signal your intentions early. Remember, show which way. Expect the unexpected. Like be ready for something. And don't take other aggressive drivers driving personally. So maybe crazy driver over here, and he's like, beep, 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 beep. just chill. Hey, it's all okay. Just relax. So what I want you to do is read through this, and I want you to answer page 47. So once you finish reading, you're going to go through the answers on the top on here. So pause me now. Think. So let's go through the answers. You pause me and here's the answer. First one, multitasking. Number two. Second rule is a safe following distance. Tailgating is aggressive or bad, like wanting to fight. Not paying attention, inattentive. In makes it the opposite, so it makes it negative form. So attentive is good, inattentive is bad. Appropriate is good inappropriate is bad. The next one, collision and crash, are talking about accidents. And the last one, a part of the road that you can't see is called a blind spot. So here is a blind spot. I can't see this hand. Oh. So blind spot is here, here. I can't see. It's close to me, but I can see it. I can see it. I can't see it. That's your blind spot. So when it's over here like that, you're like, oh, I can't see it. So those kind of things. Now, the rest of the class today is for the writing book. So you'll go to the YouTube video and watch the writing book. Now, don't go yet. Wait a minute. I'm going to explain a couple of things first and then go and do the writing book. It's cool. Yeah, look, he's stoked. So let's go through the final parts for today's class. Now, next week's class. Like them up here, I'm super excited. Next week's class is gonna be in-person, face-to-face class. We're gonna have an offline class. So I'm really, really excited. It's not that I drank lots of coffee today. Every day is lots of coffee day, but I'm not that reason. It's because we're gonna have class together. So next week, we're gonna have class in person. I'm super excited to meet you. So I've changed the assessment for my class. Next week's class is gonna be speaking class. Assessment day, just speaking, super easy. You have all of your worksheets with all your answers and now you're just gonna talk to each other. So, all you need to remember is next week's class, it's gonna be speaking class. 
You're gonna, I'll put it down. You're gonna do a very easy one. You're just gonna do pass or fail for next week. 10% of your grade. Next week, you'll have a conversation class. So you're gonna talk to as many people in class as possible. You're gonna try to talk for like five minutes with each student and then change your partner. So next week, you need to bring all of your worksheets to class. So week one, the like or week two, the introduction, number three, number four. So you're gonna have three pieces of paper all filled in with all of your answers to talk about with your partners. Now, you're gonna change your partners a lot so that you can meet new people. We want you to have fun next week, make friends. So all of the activities that we couldn't do in class time, we're gonna do next week. First ones like introductions, like get to know people, and then we're gonna change, and then we're gonna change. It's gonna be speaking for the two hours of class time. Now, I'll always give a break time, like 10 minute break, so you can rest your voice, and I'll finish class a little bit early so that you can get to other places on campus. But next week's class in Bengyongguan, 411, 411 is going to be speaking day. It's going to be talking day. We're going to have a great time together. All right. So next week is just going to be speaking. Assessment is 10% of your grade. Super easy. So as I told you, I want you to have fun. So next time, next week, it's fun. It's about you making friends and meeting your classmates. Speak as much English as you can next week. Maybe everything that we studied will be on the midterm. The idea is my speaking assignments help you with midterm, like practicing grammar or vocabulary that we will need. The next one, come to class and try, even if you don't have good English. Come to class and just try your best. It's just 10% of your grade for trying. You don't know something, no problem. You speak a little bit of Korean? No problem. I want you to try your best. Just try and speak English. It will be super easy. No budam, right? Look, Pengsu's super happy. Pengsu's my guy today. Or Pengsu's my penguin today. The idea is have fun and just speak English. It's gonna be easy. Like maybe you're shy and you're like, oh, oh hello. Oh, oh. Don't worry, we'll all have masks on. We won't be able to talk and see each other's faces easily. So just have your mask, try to speak clearly, try to say things. You can show your answers from your worksheet if somebody doesn't understand or you can explain to them in Korean, but try and speak English as much as possible. We should be able to not speak any Korean and we should be able to just speak English and it's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be perfect and I love you all. Now, just remember, we finished class for today. I want you to go to e-class and take your quiz. In the announcement, it says, when is your quiz time? It's only on our class day. So it's gonna be either Wednesday, if you're Wednesday with me, or it's gonna be Friday, if our class is Friday. So hopefully, You've listened carefully. Hopefully, you've done really well. And as you can see, you're gonna either be here, like, oh, mangeto. Or you're gonna be here, and you're gonna be like super fighting. We can do this. I hope you are this one, because you can do it. It's fighting, it's gonna be easy. Don't be like this one and be like super worried and like, oh no, Fraser. Everything is okay. Everything is just to check attendance. So go and do the quiz. The questions for Monday and Friday classes are gonna be different. So there's gonna be no conning, no cheating. Everything's gonna be okay. So everybody, I want you to have a wonderful day. Keep safe, take care. And next week, we're gonna have class together and see each other. Well, that's what Hoofs have told me. So I'm ready for next week to have class. So everybody, take it easy. We're gonna finish here today. You did a great job and I love you. Take care, see you soon. And don't forget to do writing book after you've done your like study for today.